hi guys welcome back to the channel i'm glad that you're watching in today's video i'm going to share with you eight tips for working from home to ensure that you stay productive that you maintain business continuity and you're able to achieve um, a healthy work-life balance so without much further ado tip number one to ensure that um, you can effectively work from home and achieve all your goals effectively is to get yourself a regular routine and the advantage of having a regular routine prepares your brain mentally and keeps you in that psychological um, consciousness that we are at home yes but this is not a holiday this is work time and also in case you're staying with family you know you have little kids with you it helps them understand that as much as mommy as much as daddy as much as uncle whoever it is is at home they mean business and they are working so they know between 9 a.m in the morning and 3 p.m in the afternoon is time for work so that's the beauty of having a regular work routine and also make sure that you keep a work schedule complete with breaks and um, like stop time and start time because the challenge with working at home especially if um, you're new to it is the very likelihood to run into burnout because you're sitting there at home you're hardly moving out and like in an office where you know it gets dark and you have to go home and how do you go about um, establishing a routine um, my personal suggestion is to look at the routine that you had before working from home and then you adapt it to your particular circumstance so make sure you establish a routine so that your brain knows psychologically it's work time and this is what I'm gonna do. Tip number two for working at home is to maintain a designated workspace. And this is very, very, very important whether you stay alone or you stay with other people. If it is possible, ensure that your designated workspace is as far away as possible from your sleeping area um, if you're able to. And there's two main advantages of having a designated work spot so number one like having a routine it prepares your brain mentally to know that yes we're at home and when we get to this section it's work time and also if you stay with other people especially little children who may not understand why suddenly you're at home the whole time and you won't play with them is that they know when i'm in that spot it's time for work so those are the advantages of having a designated work spot and it just gives you a place like to go to work to yeah i just like that morning trip to work without traffic so that's the advantage of having a designated um work spot and if let's say for some reason you're not able to like maybe you stay in a bed sitter or in a tiny house so what you'll need to do is um so let's say um when you're sleeping your head faces north you could maybe put your workspace to be to the south so that your brain knows that when i move to the southern part of the bed it's time for work yeah so there's all these psychological you know things we have to keep telling our brain because we don't know how long we're gonna be at home anyway Tip number three for working from home to make sure you're effective and maintain a good work-life balance and business continuity is to set ground rules yeah and these ground rules are especially very important if you are staying with other people yeah so for example and this goes hand in hand with the maintaining a designated work spot and having routines so that everybody is aware and are on the same page that for example between 7 a.m and 10 a.m Eva is handling most of her video conferences and all her virtual meetings so let's all try and maintain silence and this also when you're talking about setting clear rules of what for example fine we're at home yes but do we still want um people to be walking around in pjs and in boxers and in you know underwears and all those kind of things because once in a while you're going to be having you know a video conference and for some reason the people you start with could suddenly appear <laughs> and i would rather if that happened let them appear at least dressed up for instance and the question is how do democracies respond to those scandals uh, and what will it mean for uh 
for the wider region. I think one of your children has just walked in. I mean, shift, shifting, shifting sands in the region, do you think relations with the North may change? Um, I would be surprised if they do. <laughs> the, um, pardon me. My apologies. So set those basic ground rules. Like if let's say both you and the other people you are with in your house are working from home, whose spot is whose spot at what time for instance? You know, you need to like be fair with each other. If there's only one, you know, um, area that has a view, you can agree that like, from morning session it's you will be on that spot. Um, in the afternoon to be so and so that we're not such basic ground rules and for example in case there's an interruption so how do you go about it do you just come and storm do you like send a text do you you know send an email like those basic ground rules like if somebody needs to interrupt your work time how do you go about it and the last thing you want to happen is you know unnecessary bloopers like this one that has been doing the internet rounds like forever, you know? You don't want that to happen. Tip number four for working at home to maintain a healthy work-life balance, maintain business continuity, and ensure that you're productive is get comfortable home office equipment, yeah? So especially if um, you're new to the work um, from home um, routine, you're gonna need really, really comfortable um, work from home equipment and that comes we are talking about desks we're talking about um, chairs you know you need like a proper office chair with a nice decent backrest and um, what to keep in mind when you purchase your chair or your desk or whatever home office equipment you choose to purchase is we do not know how long this pandemic is going to last it could last a month two months three months we don't know how long it's going to last but we know it will come to an end so when you are buying your chair just have the long-term view in mind because you're gonna be sitting on this chair for like eight hours at least a day if you have a job if you're fortunate that your employer chooses to keep you um even during this period and again i said if you're fortunate to have a job remember to give a latitude like people are losing their jobs and like right center every morning you wake up just give gratitude it's like a really really great blessing that we can take for granted so you don't have to buy the most expensive chair in the shop or the most expensive desk but there's some really um decent affordable options that you can go out for and i know there's even some furniture shops that allow you to rent for a day so you can actually rent like for a day or a week and see if you like that chair or not and if you eventually like it then you could buy it you know so make sure you try um because you're going to be in this for the long haul fingers crossed so you want to make sure you have something really comfortable um to use tip number five for working at home to maintain your productivity levels very high and business continuity is to dress up and go to the office yeah and when i say dress up i'm not saying like be in a suit you know with a tie and heels and whatever else but you could if that works for you again we are talking about making sure that you're in the right mental space and frame of mind to effectively work from home and um of course you must have heard you know everyone talks about the greatest perk for working from home is that um you get to work in your pjs well i beg to differ a little bit especially now that um this work from home is like everyone else is gonna be working from home for a really really long time effectively working from home needs you like you know just get up in the morning like take a shower and change from those pages yeah so apart from even just physically telling you that hey the pj session is over it's now time for work it also helps to prepare you mentally for your work and again if you're staying with other people they know that eva is no longer in her pjs so it's time for her to start working so it works in tandem with the other tips that i've already given and it helps you to be in that right frame of mind and um with a lot of people um, working from home and most probably for the long haul, um, you never know, once in a while there's going to be that impromptu video conference that you have to get on, or there's going to be that impromptu um, check-in with your colleague or your team member. 
and um, you don't want to be the one who has to take like 20 minutes because you didn't even you hadn't even brushed your teeth you hadn't washed your face and then uh, you can't get on the meeting immediately and a decision has to be made and um, right now you know what the latest reply to all you know replacement is is accidentally hitting that video button and I don't know you don't be the one to be the one who hit the video button accidentally and suddenly oops you're in the interwebs with that G core blue band t-shirt with a hole in the nipple area <laughs> you don't want to be that person so all I'm saying is just wake up in the morning part of your routine take a shower brush your teeth and just put on something decent that you be comfortable with and puts you in that frame of mind that hey we are working and it's just good for your own you know just knowing that there's this tangible one thing that I've already done this morning I have actually taken a shower I'm clean I'm all dressed up and I'm ready to go to work tip number six for working from home is to consciously avoid digital distractions yeah so um this is something that should be rather obvious but it gets a little complicated especially when you're working from home so unlike when you are probably working in an office unless you are those lucky few who had corner offices personally um, we have this open working area and there are some basic ground rules like put your phone on silent if you need to pick up a call or make a call just step out and make your call um, you know basic things like you know not using office time to be on social media and on YouTube and all those kind of things and it gets a little complicated when you have to be at home where you can effectively actually be working and have a podcast play in the background so my suggestion um, and basically what I am doing and fortunately this is something I had started doing even while I used to go to the physical office is my phone is usually on silent like more times than it than it has a sound because i just don't like the distractions that come during the day and with all these um whatsapp forwards and all these corona updates and all these things during the internet rounds um i prefer to switch off any data any wi-fi on my phone between 8 a.m in the morning and 4 p.m i know that's ridiculous but it works for me so I don't have interruptions during the day my phone is on silent and um, unless I need to make a business call or I need to have to really you know respond to some personal emergency and yeah then I'll pick up my call but I avoid social media I avoid my phone I avoid and fortunately for me most of people in my social circle kind of understand that I'm not easy to get on the fast phone call so it works perfectly for me and when there's an emergency people will text me and I have these blocks of time like after every three to four hours I will check the text messages so just find out what works for you but make sure that you avoid digital distractions and believe you me if you are not careful you can find yourself you've been on YouTube or Instagram or WhatsApp or whatever for six hours and didn't get any work done right okay tip number seven for working at home that has you know worked for me is make known to your teammates your workmates your availability and your schedule there is nothing as frustrating as we are already in lockdown we are already in coffee more we're already social distancing and you need to have a meet or you need to reach out to your colleague and you're not sure that they are on leave or they have a meeting or they are available or not and with all these um, office tools like Microsoft Outlook, Google Calendar, all this kind of scheduling, these scheduling tools and apps, just fill in your calendar, yeah? Let people know that between 8 a.m. to 10 a.m., I don't know, Eva is working on documents so it's blocked office time or she's having her lunch break from 3 to 10 p.m so don't disturb or she's knocked off or she's on leave or and um, if you have the facility please share your calendar with people that need to know where you are and the people that you work most closely with and include the time zones as well yeah it's not obvious because um, Eva is Kenyan she's working from home in Kenya I could have gotten stuck in Brazil for instance and it's important for me to have 
on my calendar not just the timing but also the time zones yeah it just makes everybody's life easy and your life easy as well so mark your calendars share them with your colleagues let people know your schedules your availability your non-availability and it just makes everyone's life easier it's not like in the former days where you could simply walk to somebody's desk and you're like hey john are you available for a quick 10 minute catch-up session at three o'clock times have changed right all right tip number eight invest in good high quality technology right and um it's remote working it's working from home yes but I am certain the longer we are in this pandemic, the longer we are in this situation, the more we are likely to need to catch up with our colleagues, with our teammates, virtually. And the last thing you want to happen is you're unable to because of poor equipment. And here in terms of technology, I'm talking about internet, I'm talking about your PC or your laptop. I'm talking about headphones. I'm talking about RAM and ROM in your laptop or whatever else that you're using. Make sure that you have something that can accommodate at least a video conference, for instance, because you might need it. The more we stay at home to maintain business productivity, once in a while you're gonna have need to have that video call or that video conference with the rest of your team. And you don't want to be the one whose internet keeps hanging up and have screeching sounds or your laptop doesn't have a sound or it suddenly changes you into green or purple red, you know, or into a banana and everyone is just wondering what happened to you. So just check, and the beauty with the um, technology, most employers are very understanding and if for one reason or another um, you're having issues with your computer, your laptop, whatever it is, just talk to your employer and I'm certain that most employers will be understanding and they'll be happy to replace or you know repair or do whatever needs to be done to make sure that you have the most state you know of the art and equipment that can actually um do the job for you so well that's it for today the tips that i have personally used and have worked for me let me know what you're doing how are you maintaining your productivity how is the working from home coming along share with me in the comments below if you like this video remember to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please remember to hit the subscription bell hit the notification bell so that every time i shoot a new video you will be the first person to know so thank you for hanging on up to the very end stay safe stay home and i'll see you in the next video bye bye